What do you say to the people who say, I don't think God is real? Then I say, do the math, right? You and I are going to have a conversation today. And you're going to notice a lot of my decisions are based on pros and cons, right? And so let's say that we understand 50% of science, right? And we don't understand the other 50%. And I'm, again, playing devil's advocate because there's no way we understand 50% of all science in the entire world, right? And then you look at the pros and cons, right? What are the cons of believing in God? Well, let me play devil's advocate again. I mean, I guess you could think, uh, I think probably the biggest one would be uh, you can't say science for what I just said. And you probably could say, oh, I don't want to be a follower. I don't want to be sheep. Uh, and then, okay, I, I understand that. And then you lay the pros, right? the fullness of what it makes you feel inside, the happiness and the gratitude and the perspective that God gives you, knowing that you are loved beyond yourself, the foundation that God and the morale of believing in God gives you. It increases your integrity. It helps you as a person, as a human being. The belief of God is so much more than just believing somebody's above us in the sky playing puppet master. The belief in God does so much more for you, for your mind, for your consciousness, for your soul than, than anything. And like I would say, just what are the pros and what are the cons? And then you notice like I've read every scripture or at least the main three. And there's also the aspect, you know, all of them are kind of different, but then you also have heaven and hell, right? And Okay, if there's a 50% chance that God is real and there's a 50% chance that God is not, and then there's heaven and hell where in heaven you're going to spend the rest of your life in eternal bliss and eternity basically in, in love and light and beauty, and then hell you're going to spend the rest of your eternity in, in burning flames, well then I ask you, even if there was a 1% chance that God was real, Right? Are you going to take that? Like, to me, it's like, am I going to risk not believing in something that I know nothing about and that I can't disprove or that I can't necessarily prove? Am I going to roll the dice and live my life? Because, you know, I understand God, God's not telling you to hurt people. When you believe in God, don't let anybody misconstrue you otherwise. God's a good thing. God, God preaches love and peace and happiness and, and taking care of people and, and understanding that you have to leave an impact on this planet, on, this, on the earth and on the people and on the animals of it before you go. Like, there's nothing wrong about, I've read the books, like there's nothing there telling you to do bad things and, and it's just a good way to live your life. And to me, it's a pros and cons. I mean, I can list out the pros and I can list out maybe a couple cons and the pros will exceed 20 and then the cons will be like one, two, or three. I think it comes down to that old saying where they're like, uh, I'd rather believe in God and then find out he isn't real than not believe in God and find out he is. What a great saying. Yeah. Because that's just the truth. You know, even if there was a 1% chance that he was real, even if you could do the math and do the science and prove it that way. You see, I'm some things I don't believe, right? Like I don't believe Moses split the water in half and, you know, to this, you know I, I can't believe that. I'm a man of science still. I'm a man of logic. I'm a man of reasoning. But a lot of these things are allegories and tales to, that have underlying stories and meanings behind it and you can't take them too literally. And a lot of the atheists or anti-God people kind of reference those as hocus pocus, but you're looking at it too, too seriously, too logically. Sometimes some things have to be taken with a grain of salt. And, you know, when I'm saying believe in God, I'm not saying become a Christian or become a Muslim or become a Jew. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying believe that there is somebody above there, above you, watching you, watching your decisions, watching your actions, and tread with caution. Live your life helping people. Live your life loving people. Live your life in peace. Live your life trying to help the helpless. And that to me is what God is and what God wants me to do. And so I just weigh the pros and cons. I think it can only benefit your life and it can't do much to hurt it yeah. if you don't believe it. You know? There's general accountability for everybody. 